Let's talk for a minute about the difference between cable broadband and DSL broadband. And of course, cable broadband is provided by your cable company, right. and DSL broadband is provided by your phone company. And it is true that cable broadband operates across your coax cable wiring, and DSL broadband operates across your existing phone lines. Now, a cable network was basically set up to distribute, um, you know, the, the TV, the video. And so there was a central area where they would be taking either the video off the air or off of some cable feed that came to it, and then it's distributing this out to all the neighborhoods on cables. So, you know, just like you have in your basement, you'll have the cable comes in and then there's a splitter so you can go to a couple of TVs. So in the same way, the cable would come down the street and then there'd be a splitter. And the splitter would take some down this street and some down the next street. And they keep splitting. But as you do all this splitting and as you go farther distance, the signal gets weaker. So they have to put in amplifiers. And those amplifiers boost the signal back up trouble is every amplifier adds a little noise. So after you've gone through a bunch of amplifiers, the noise could get to be too much. So you can, there's a limit to how much you can do of this. The reason that the cable companies started to get into the internet is because they had coax cabling that was pretty substantial amount of bandwidth. You could travel, have a lot of data traveling along with coax cable. In fact, so much that before we had 800 channels of cable, we had, you know, 30 or 40, and the cable companies were like, well, hey, let's use this bandwidth for something else. But the telephone network's more complicated because what you're trying to do is connect one individual with any of the other individuals. It has to be now a much denser network and not this star topology. If you have two people, you only need one connection. If you have three people, you need three. How many do you need for four people? Well, now you need one, two, three, four, five, six, and the number starts going up very fast, the interconnected numbers. I think the telephone system, with all that's in it, must be the most complicated physical thing that humans have ever put together. <laughs>